Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yutzi. Here's like your top stories on this Thursday. An Orlando television reporter is among the dead in a shooting spree that killed three people. A TV crew was covering a shooting on Wednesday when they came under fire. They worked for Spectrum News. A nine-year-old girl and a woman in her 20s were also killed in the rampage. Two others were critically injured. 19-year-old Keith Melvin Moses has been arrested and faces murder charges. Charter Communications, the parent company of Spectrum News, released a statement saying they're deeply saddened by the loss of our colleague and the other lives senselessly taken. We're learning more about two men who died after a fiery blast in Medley. According to family and friends, Elias Gross and Vincent Williams were at a welding facility servicing their truck Tuesday when a massive explosion happened. Both men died. Two others were critically injured. One of the victim's sons, Joshua Gross, tells us he is heartbroken. The cause of that blast remains under investigation. Surveillance video you'll only see on Local 10 showing the moments before a man was murdered in North Miami Beach. The family of Hershey Schwartz demanding information from police after they say Schwartz was shot three times and dragged out of his car at a Wendy's parking lot on Saturday. Police say they are working on leads and the murder may have stemmed from a possible robbery. Schwartz was a beloved member of the Orthodox Jewish community. He was also getting prepared to be married next month. A frightening video showing us an SUV backing right into a mother and her two children in North Miami. A nearby business surveillance camera caught the very moment an unoccupied SUV pinned the family against the wall Tuesday night before a man managed to get inside the vehicle and move it forward. The woman and the girls, ages four and eight, are stable at Ryder Trauma Center. One of the children had to be airlifted. It is unclear why the SUV was left in gear. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered throughout the day on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.